Sway is an exciting, interactive presentation tool that's available within Microsoft Office 365 suite of tools that we have access to with our Glow logins. Sway can be used to share information and to collate content knowledge. Let's look at some of the features that are available. So using Sway to tell your digital story. Sway allows you to create digital stories that flow beautifully, displaying interactive multimedia content. The built-in click and drag feature makes it easy to upload content from various sources. Sway is intuitive and easy to navigate with simple menus. You can unleash your creativity by designing your own look and feel. It's flexible and accessible with a range of accessibility tools within the application itself. For example, it can be embedded into any curricular area and can be used for a many different reasons. Users can create presentations, reports, instructions, a portfolio of work, or create personal stories and newsletters. Students and staff can start using Sway in the classroom. For example, modern language presentations, record science experiments, PE, health and nutrition reports, English can create book reports, home economics, cooking instructions pull together into a Sway presentation, pull together all the artwork for art portfolios. You can also use it for blended learning or flipping the classroom by pulling together information that you want your students, students to access. It supports all kinds of rich media, so you can use it for adding some headings to your presentation, text, images, video, and you can also embed. You can also add some links so all the information is in the one place. When you add, you're, you're populating your sway with different cards by clicking on the plus button. The different cards allow you to add all kinds of different media. There's lots of built-in features, so you can pull content from various other places. So you can pull information from your OneDrive, from Bing, Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, Picket, and upload directly from your computer. When you add images, you get various different options for displaying these images. This is really useful if you're pulling together a school newsletter. So you can have all your images there and decide if you want them displayed in a grid, a slideshow, slideshow with thumbnails, or a comparison where the end user has a slider to compare two pictures. You can choose the size of your pictures from small, medium to large, which will fill the screen. You can add video and the videos will simply play within the interface itself. You can also embed from other places. This is a video that was embedded um, from the internet and you can also embed some tweets just by adding the code. You can also add forms. So if you wanted your end users to complete a survey or a quiz, then you can embed the form directly into your Sway presentation. YouTube works really well. And again, the videos will just play automatically within the Sway presentation. End users have the option to make the video full screen and then close the full screen to come back to the Sway presentation. You can also include audio, which is really useful for OnePlus 2. Bonjour, guten tag. Kanichiwa. It's completely customizable, so you can choose your own look and feel. And there's many accessibility features, including accessibility checker, keyboard enhancements, and high contrast mode. You can also choose to share your sway. You can have your sways private until you're ready to share them. You can make them accessible with any by anyone who has the link. And you can also make them public. And we'll go over these features in some of the other videos that we create. There's also built in analytics. You can check how long people are spending on your sways and how much views your sways have had. Again, very useful for school newsletters. 
and there's plenty of places to go for additional help and support.